So we got the Clawson uh, High Build Rust Defender Primer, and uh, it's kind of unique because it takes the same hardener like a fiberglass resin does. It's polyester, not a urethane. Stuff sticks good. It helps. Uh, I see a lot of TV shows where they're using this as their high build primer. It certainly worked good on the canoe build, but uh, it. I don't know, it sprayed just fine. That's where we'll leave that. Then we've got all of this explosion here. These are all the rest of the parts for the motorcycle side of this. Let's go look at the frame real quick. What do you think of this deal? It's, uh, it's starting to look like something. It's starting to look like something. Got the whole booth full of just miscellaneous here. All these parts are gonna be painted white. So we did them kind of separate from the canoe body and the other stuff and uh, did a bunch of cleaning on this and got it looking pretty good it's gonna hold that uh canoe sidecar body down and uh stay attached to the motorcycle hopefully and we got the uh fender struts here for the for the bike and then another just random piece that's fabricated to hold stuff together so hey got a lot of it done we're going to uh continue on paint prepping on the canoe body and uh, we're going to get this stuff all turned white here. All right, hit me. Spraying the bed liner on the inside of it. We've got the Raptor 2K liner going so it'll camouflage a little bit of stuff and make it where you're uh, not sticking fiberglass in yourself working on this. Here we are. And uh, basically the, the light color for this has been laid down. And now we're coming back and we're doing a little design work here. We've got this stuff taped out. We're gonna fill it in with more tape. And then we're gonna spray our secondary color on here in our two-tone. So it just takes uh, time with the tape going around and around you go. I like to use several different widths. So I did the initial layouts, or Hemi did it with uh, eighth inch tape, and then I'm coming back with, uh, this is just half inch. Same stuff, just green crepe tape. And just uh, going around and being careful that I don't overlap any of, uh, any of the tape that was already applied. And once we get our secondary base on, we'll take all this and uh, peel it back, and then we'll be able to put clear on this thing. My tape is overlapped and I need to make a move, so I'm just gonna trim that back. Nice, new, sharp razor blade. And then pick up the piece that doesn't belong. We're gonna cut this one the same deal. I think you had this one rounded off, so come in and just kind of follow what's under there. A lot of guys won't use masking paper. They'll just fill everything with tape, but I like to use paper because, I don't know, tape adds up cost-wise. Paper's cheap and it's not that hard to do. You just gotta, you just gotta make the commitment and do it. Come up at the very top, we can pack that down.
Hello, Nick is in front of it, check it back a little way, you want to fix that, and uh, yeah, I'll do it now. I'll just, uh, go through the page, yeah. Just the nerves back there, the slot, I'll see. Yeah. And, I'm not sure which way, it's still in. Like that. I don't even use this phrase in the way to how deeply you're cutting. That's why we sell you deeply cutting free sites, let's go. I'll do it like a little cushion there with the paint. That's what I use. There you go, turn that out. Check this off, super fun folks. And, this is pretty cool. This, uh, this is actually done. So we're coming in, and that's actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, check out that color. That's gonna look pretty on the Harley stuff. What you do. Looking good, looking good. Just take it and get that started. And then it comes off there pretty good. Then get your little bit there. Oh, come on. Stay even, okay? Here, do as much as you can. But you want me to holler at you when the bell rings? Yeah. That's why you got it. Stop there straight at it, and you gotta look off the side as you're spraying. Let's see your gun. I don't want to intentionally run it. Yeah. It is hard to see. Yes. There you go. Oh, it is. Yeah, do some of 
of this high profile stuff here. So uh, we got things kind of crammed in here, but uh, Mr. Hemi here, he's, he like worked hard yesterday. And uh, yeah, this thing is kind of put back together. We're at the end of the school year and the goal was to get all of the body work, fabrication, paint work done. And then Hemi will do the mechanical work once he gets it back and everything. But uh, yeah, you can check it out how the colors look together and stuff. You can imagine a big old uh, billet sns engine up here or no it's gonna actually going to be an original old harley motor but you can just imagine it all kind of put back together and things uh rolling down the road so hemi we lost a bunch of files with uh you painting but they need to know that you did a bunch of the work here that it wasn't just students or myself or anybody else we're just trying to help him get this thing knocked out the way he wants it before the end of the school year so. yeah turning out really good. I really appreciate everybody that has laid their hands on, hands on it. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's been a fun project, an interesting project, and hey, like all these long-term ones that take quite a while, you kind of like you're, uh, you're ready to see some finalization to stuff, and this is uh, definitely a good final outcome, I think, to get it this far put together. So, yeah. I think this is a pretty good place to end the video, and uh, this I think will be the end of the of this one. No, it won't either. We got to show you the gas tank because we did a little bit more stuff to it, or Hemi did a little bit more stuff to it. You're live, Hemi. We forgot to paint the the rack for the back so you can haul your stuff. Had to do a little bit more to the gas tank. Hemi said it wasn't dolled up enough. He had a dream and a vision, so we got to. We got to make it happen here. You see what we've got going, taped out. We're gonna spray a little red on here in a minute and uh, unmask it, and you guys will really be able to see what is going on. And see, we're gonna make sure I get Hemi in the video doing work because, well, we just haven't shown him doing enough. So here you go. He's putting it together. So what does this say, Hemi? If we were gonna read this in English. Micmac Warrior. Micmac Warrior. What does it mean? It's a uh, part of my heritage. All right. It's from the Micmac Nation. The Mi guys we just start like this and uh, keep going until 
we get like this over here where you really can't tell the difference between the red and the letters and everything, then you know you have coverage. So it's not about spraying wet coats and get it all covered at once. It's about multiple light coats. Light, multiple light coats will dry faster than one heavy coat every single time. So we're gonna let Hemi sit in here and dust color on this and uh, yeah, we'll come back in in a second. So, yeah, taking time doing taping. And we got some red in here. You can kind of see the overall concept. Hemi's got her going. Looks pretty cool. It's just uh, tough, to, tough to do stuff in a hurry. You got that creative mind. And, uh, man, there's a lot going on right here. So we're going to clean up what we can clean up, and then we're going to move on. Hold it up so the world can see. So here we go with the finished tank. All done, nice looking. Super smooth, clear, nice and shiny. Got the tape off of the cap, so that little bit of chrome there with them. Everything looks cool. Sidecar is getting separated. Oh yeah, guys, today is uh, the day that the uh, Canoe, Harley, sidecar, barber chair, workstation travels out and it's going to uh, be fully assembled by your friend of mine, Mr. Hemi, the Viking here in our class. And uh, how long do you think it'll be before it's on the road, Hemi? Well, I'm hoping I can get a tag on it in August. Okay. So get it tagged in August and be able to cruise to Canada. the bike shows. August, it'll be hot. You won't want to ride this thing in the... Nah, I was thinking uh, uh, when it's all ready, I need to find out who to talk to to put it on the, uh, in the show, entrance. In the showroom up front, that yeah. would be cool. 